We are excavating the past, learning about the unwritten histories that are underneath our feet. The field school offers students an opportunity to take what we've learned in the classroom and actually apply it in a way that makes a difference. For the 2016 Archaeological Field School, we are at a prehistoric rock shelter in Daniel Boone National Forest in Jackson County, Kentucky. We chose these sites after talking with the Daniel Boone National Forest Service archaeologists and finding out what their needs are in evaluating the sites for the National Register of Historic Places. The, the U.S. Forest Service has thousands of sites that it manages. Uh, very few of them have been investigated to any significant level. And what we're able to do is investigate a number of sites and assist them in their mission of preserving and protecting America's prehistoric heritage. We've done some excavations with the archaeologists that we have, and usually that's only been five or six people at the most. And you know, I'm really amazed because the shelters I've worked on, we might have a couple of units open, maybe three or four, but nothing like these students have been able to do. So it was kind of a win-win for all of us. Working with the Forest Service has been really interesting and it's been a very uh, close-knit experience. And it feels more like I'm working for a company versus a school project. The information I had when I first began investigating this site was very minimal and it suggested that the site is actually pretty late, probably after AD 1000. But when we began excavating, we found artifacts that date as early as 9,400 years. And one of the things that the students have an opportunity to do is focus in on relationships of artifacts with features and post holes and, and, and fire pits. So we're getting to see like the big picture and begin to approach human behaviors rather than just artifacts. We're finding things that tell us about people that lived here nine, 10,000 years ago. This is Kentucky history at its heart. 